What's going on YouTube? I am Hot Mess Ness, anyway, otherwise known as Vanessa. And today's video, I'm gonna be doing a demo at using, like call it a three, three in one, if you will. Earlier this week, I showed the swatches of the new Luxie eyeshadows, there's 20 of them, and I did a demo using the neutrals. I said that I would come in and I would do something with the color. So today I used colorful shades of the mattes to show you guys, and then I also used two of the multi-chromes from Davina Cosmetics, and we're getting fancy here. I also use the Sonia G Pro Eye Set, most of them for the most part. But anyway, I wanna show you how everything worked, do some color, give another demo because there's a lot going on. I have details on both of these. This one comes out Friday, April the 5th. This one comes out April the 7th. I have affiliate codes for both. I'm gonna leave the swatches up here in the cards. You know, they'll be slowly one after the other. But one for the Luxie shadows, one for the Davina shadows in case you haven't seen them yet and all the details on their launches and my affiliate codes will be in the description box. This video is for, you know, demo purposes. Show you color, show you some multi-chrome magic and hey, why not? Let's throw in some brushes along the way. So if you wanna see how I created this magical purpley blue, whatever kind of look, then just keep on watching. So, I feel like I'm pretty close, pretty, pretty close. Today we play with color, yay! I cannot find my trusty Blink Primer anywhere, so we're gonna be using the anti-aging from Urban Decay. Although I feel like this, oh yeah, let's just get it in your eye and all underneath your eye. Well, we put shadow under here, why not, right? This stuff is kind of weird, it's real thick. Oh well, whatever. It is what it is. We're putting on the primer. I want it all over the place, so I'm gonna put it on with the trusty little doodah, and then I'm gonna take a damp, clean beauty blender and blend it in. All right, so I feel like we are relatively primed. I have to remind myself not to touch myself because I have a black and white shirt on. While we're at it, I'm also gonna be trying out the new Sonia G, well, I mean, relative, new to me, Sonia G Pro Eye Set. Figure, you know, we'll kill three birds with one stone because we're doing Davina, Luxi, and that kind of thing. So I like color, but I like color to not be extremely overwhelming. I love it when other people do bold, weird looks. Weird isn't a nice word, but you know what I'm saying. But, I don't know what I'm gonna do. What am I gonna do? I think I'm gonna focus on these ones, is what I think I'm gonna do. Starting out with this pretty little purple shade. This is called Notice Me. I'm gonna take a, another brush. <laughs> God, I'm a mess. That's why you love me. All right, I'm gonna take this fluffy Sonia G Blender Pro. I'm gonna pick up this purple shade that I just looked at and already forgot the name called Notice Me. And we're gonna pop her in the crease right here. Ooh. Oh, hello, pigment. I am dabbing and placing because I'm not really sure what I'm doing yet, but this is what I'm starting with. I wanted to play with the purples. Purples is what I love. Could have gone with the yellow. The Sartreuse does not really interest me. And uh, spoiler alert, I don't even like blue eyeshadow. Yes, I ordered the Jeffree Star color blue thing, but um, I'm not even like a huge fan of blue eyeshadow. I love it on other people, but I always feel like, oh, I'm gonna do with that. So I am taking this light shade and just kind of buffing her in the front part here because I don't really know what I'm doing yet. This one has a little bit of a sheen to it. If you look at it, it's kind of got these little sparkly doodahs in it and that is for blendability, but it doesn't really show up on your eyes in any which way. It still looks like a true matte. I did just the purple here, so maybe I could do just the blue there. Should I do that first? 
retract everything I just said. Now I'm gonna take that little same Blender Pro and I'm gonna dab into the blue. I think the blue is called Blue Your Mind. If you notice, it's pretty quiet here. You can hear the wind rustling through my mini blinds. That's because I told the man I was filming today and I essentially kicked him out with the little wild ones. You know, I can film with the kids here, but him, he listens to the TV so loud. So there's still some children here. I'm kind of dabbing it on where I want it. Because I don't want it to get too dark. You know how it is with color. It can go dark real quick and that's not what exactly I'm having in mind. So I'm just dabbing it do and putting the color where I want it. Mostly in the crease area, like where the crease meets and then just kind of wiggling it up so I can get the edge of the lighter blue. Does that make sense? Now I'm taking a clean blender pro and I'm just gonna work right here. I just like the shape of this brush. It's very like precise. I'm gonna take a little bit of more of blue your mind. These brushes haven't opened up yet. I'm gonna build it here and kind of drag out. Do, 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 do. When's the last time you've seen me do something like this? Like never. Pull, 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 pull. I like it. It's pretty. You could just get away with doing this. I'm going to go back into that lavender, lavish, whatever this one is. Notice me. And see if I can build a little bit more here. Pull it up, pull it up. I'm gonna take the Worker Pro and then I'm gonna take this one because it's closer in tone and this is what I'm gonna build my crease with. So that way they might transitional together. Transition, is that a word? And again, I'm working slowly because color doesn't always want to come together. I mean, these are blending nicely, but you have to understand like how color theory works to how things blend and keep them from getting muddy. And I'm not always the brightest crayon in the box on that one. Oh, I like the differential here. It's very, very subtle. Like you'd have to get up close to me to see it, but I like it. And I'm just dragging that over here too. Very light, very carefully, just do, 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 stamping it on and kind of wiggling it so that way I'm getting the color exactly where I want it and then the wiggle kind of does the blending. It's making a fun color right here, mixing together. Then I just turned the brush on its side because I was going back and forth like this. I'm turning it here and blending very slightly with the purple here and here. I have little eyeball wrinkles here, so you know I'm gentle with myself on that one. Here, just a little bit of that too. Okay, now I'm gonna take that really vibrant purple, Punk Passion, and I'm putting that on the Pencil Pro brush, and I'm gonna work on packing that here. I'm working on keeping that just here and not really connecting too much into the blue. Ooh, the other side. On a totally different note, while I'm slapping eyeshadow in my outer V, I have been on a kick. I've been doing the 21 day free meditation with Oprah and Deepak Sh Sh Shuka, Shoka, Chakra. No, Chakra is something else. Anyway, it's very interesting. Um, it's helping me a lot with, you know, the mental issues that I sometimes struggle. I think we all have those kind of issues, but it has been an interesting journey 
you're interested, it's still going. After the first five days, they close those meditations, but there are still quite a few days left. So if you're interested, they have an app for it, and it has been, it's been pretty good for me, which has led me to be reading a book called, on Audible, The Power, which is a version of The Secret. Just good stuff for when you have a lot of mental things going on at all times. When you question everything and everything is so important, sometimes it's nice to find programs that help you just be, which it is helping me do that a lot. I am going to grab my little worker one that we had used earlier, the Worker Pro, and I'm just going to dab this so I can get a blend out of it. And I'm gonna add a little bit more of the purple with that same shade, same brush I mean. My honest first thing to do with this was just to play with the purples, but I thought, you know what? Add in a blue, see how it goes. I've got my clean little blender and I'm going to just very slightly blend this out a little bit because I've got a lot of darkness, which I'm okay with but I just don't wanna to look too much like I got a crazy black eye. I like this, I like where this is going. Okay, now we're gonna go on to the lid. I'm gonna take one of the Divina Multichromes because I have so much color going on, I could use this one or this one. Emma City has the pinky purple going on. We could go here or this one's a little bit lighter. This is Panavone. You could go here. I think this is more monochromatic than I want. Let's see, what about this one? The orange with the blue. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with Emma City. Emma City. Okay, so these can be used wet or they can be used like with a glitter glue. You can use them dry to get a wash of color. I'm gonna use them with a glitter glue because I do have semi-hooded lids, right? And so we lose this spacing right here. And a lot of times what happens with me, is I close my eyes and then I end up with glitter stuff all here throughout the day. So I'm gonna use a glitter glue today. I don't always do all that. Sometimes I just embrace the glitter everywhere. All right. So I'm gonna pop this right where I want my shadow to stick. Put it on my brush and pack that on. How many times are you gonna get in the fridge right now, dude, when you know I'm doing something? I'm sorry. I was just getting a drink. Would it be bad if I just hopped in? I would be annoying if you're doing that. Just because you should get dressed so when Donnie says it's time to go, we're ready to go. Whew, I love it so much. I wish my blinds would shut up, but I'm too lazy to get up and stop them. You know how when you have those moments that you're like, I'm so impressed with myself. Having one of those moments. I don't often have those moments, so when I do, I'm gonna just embrace it. All right, you know, same drill. Same as the other side. A little glitter glue. Put it where I want it. I do get a little bit of wrinkles in the eyeballs. You know, it happens. Damn it, I lost a light. Now your eyeballs wrinkling may not bother you, especially if you use false lashes. If it bothers me, I just go over, because I have just a little bit too much glitter glue right here, and I can try to even that out by wetting my brush. It's gonna happen to me. So it happens with pigments, it happens with anything that I get crazy with. Should we add another color, like right here? Like that one? Yeah, let's just try it. Let's just, you know, we're here, let's have fun with it. This is Panovin, Panovon. I'm gonna take that one, get it on my brush. I already have some of the other pigment on it. Wet it and just dab some here. 
Well, gee, that's fun. I'm starting to think in my, um, in my age, what I think is fun is definitely different. I have a bunch of friends going out tonight, going to the club, going to get their drink on, and I'm playing with eyeshadow. Layer well together, and that made a color I didn't expect to see. Makes me wish I knew how to take a damn good Instagram pic. That's what I was wishing. All right, now I'm gonna go back right here and kind of flick because I've got my little matte purple here. I don't want it to be too choppy. I'm not the kind of person that's too worried about this being perfect. It's just, I mean, this is how I would do it. If I was gonna do this look, I would not be sitting here for 15 hours making sure every line and wrinkle. If I got the overall look that I wanted, then that's what I would go with. So we've got the multi-chrome magic on the lids. We've got the color on the eyes. I'm really enjoying this. So, <clears throat> for the lower lash line, I'm gonna fluff up on the Notice Me shade. We could go rainbow and just hit all other colors, but I still wanna keep this kind of cohesive. So just grabbing the lavish. Oh, wait, is this one called Notice Me? running her here and then i'm going to take this one right here and work her very close to the lash line i'm going to take this itty bitty that's made for eyebrows <clears throat> and i'm going to take that blue shade blue your mind and really just tuck it right here and kind of blend it because that's what deepens it out so it'll match the outer corner i mean i probably should go with like a pink to open up the eyes, but we're here playing with color, you know. Let me go find a colorful eyeliner and I'll be right back. I to go in just a little too much, but I used the shade Boots from ColourPop. This pretty little pink on the inner waterline. Sometimes it makes you look like you've done some drugs. I'm okay with that. Now I'm going to take the BFF mascara in the shade Purple purple pros and we're gonna use her here. I need, a, I need a mirror. I have like no lower lashes and that's where I like to use colored mascaras. And then my real lashes are covered in glue, like up here, so. We're gonna just let that kind of creep on down. I'm going to put liner and mascara up here and then lashes and show you guys how fabulous I am when I'm done. I'll be right back. I'll be right back, really. I'm not gonna do any of this. I'll just, I'll be right back, right now. All right, I'm aware that some people don't wear false lashes and mine are always semi-glued together, but I thought I'd show you guys the look without any falsies. So here is the duochrome, multi-chrome magic from Davina, along with the new color shades, some of them from Luxie. Now I'm gonna add some eyelashes, cause that's what I like. Not everybody likes them, but I like them, so I'll be right back. Okay guys, this is the finished look, throwing on some lashes, uh, using the new Sonia G brushes, using two of the Davina pressed new multi-chromes. If you're interested in seeing these, I have a playlist. And then also using some of the new Luxie colored mattes. I just wanted to show you everything that's new in action so that way you could be up to speed. So let me know what you think down below. And as always, we'll see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye. Don't forget you can subscribe down here and for more videos, click over here, possibly there. There's places to click, click them, click them all.